Hey there, my lovely gardeners. How are you? Granny with the Green Thumb here. Welcoming you back to another episode of Granny's Guide to Urban Gardening. Hope you forgive me. I was on the past couple of days, been on this foot. So let me tell you, I am loving the AC today and that I don't have to be outside in the soil garden. I've been pruning and trimming my tomatoes back here in my tower garden to get a little bit more air so they play nice and love each other a little bit better and don't crowd each other as much. They're climbing all over and just breaking each other. So got them all pruned up, um, cut off a bunch of green that gave a lot of space for air. It's gotten really humid and hot in here. I've been leaving the front door open so they can get extra extra air without humidity to it. So And to keep it a little cooler because it got pretty hot in here. So if you ever got any questions about how to get started with one of those, so let me know. And I just drop me a message and I'll be glad to answer any questions and help you get started too. So first, before I start on today, I would ask you, have you watered your plant that you planted? Uh, go out there and give it a little bit of mist if you don't have any water, if you haven't watered it. I've got these right here. The other one's outside getting rained on right now. So if yours is outside getting rained, you're good. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so I'm just going to give these a little spritz. This is my um, beans that I planted. So make sure you go and water your plants. So today we're going to talk about balcony gardening and how that works. Okay, it's going to be just kind of like um, the same as with the. Uh, just want to make sure that it's been really hot in here. So see all the humidity. These are closed up too. This is I'm just planting seeds. So these are going to actually go on the ground when they've sprouted and and then I'll put it up. Put them out in the soil garden. So. Today we're going to talk about turning your balcony or your deck into a lush garden, growing your own food. So I know you're going to say, Granny, but my balcony's tiny. Have you seen my front porch? Okay. I don't have a balcony at all. So no problem. We're going to use vertical gardening techniques to help make the most of your balcony space or what you have. Now, I do not have, I told you guys to um, get your bottles and your containers that you can use those old soda bottles and since I can't get out of the house right now I'm a prisoner in my own home um, I wasn't able to get soda bottles we just don't drink soda here so we're gonna make hanging planters with what you have um, if you don't have the bottles you can make more containers what I was gonna do is have my husband help me but you can cut off the tops of your soda bottles or this gallon jug and plug the drain holes in the bottom Fill it with soil just like we did with the lettuce and put some holes in the side of it and hang it on your balcony. So milk jugs will work perfect as well too. Anything that you have that you can hang or put a hole in. And you can plant your herbs and basils, uh, mint, and like something like this. I was even thinking cutting the top off and turning the top, leaving the lid, take the lid off of me, cutting the top off and then turn it inside out and planting a heavier plant that way so you've got a base of water that you can always be filling it with too. And that would be good for, um, say, a tomato or a pepper plant even. My pepper plants would be good, tomatoes would get a little heavy. Um, so that would be the easiest thing. You know, put these, cut them in half, hang them on your balcony or on your railing. If you've got stairs, I don't have a balcony, but I do have outside steps. So hang them on railings or on hooks, whatever you can do to make use of that space. And you can put them one on top of each other. So, you know, herbs, plants, whatever, look at the height, how big you're going to be, and just put them on top of each other. And then you'll be able to step out into your balcony or onto your deck, and you'll be plucking fresh herbs for dinner. Fresh basil, parsley, thyme, you have some peppers, even some lettuce you can have out there. So it's like a slice of having your own nature right outside your, your back door, or front door, or side door. So today's task is go and make your own hanging planter with a soda bottle or a milk jug even a juice bottle, whatever bottles you can use, if you can poke holes in the bottom for drainage. And go plant some herbs. What's your favorite herb? Drop that in the comments and let me know what's the favorite herb that you would like to grow out on your balcony garden. So give me a comment, let me know how it goes, share your photos too. And remember, if you need more help or personalized advice, you can always ask me and book a consult. You can go to my links in my bio, book a consult with me and we can talk about how to help you create your dream garden and about what you want to grow and I can help give you some information. So next time we're going to be talking about how to grow windowsill herb gardens. So until then, 
Happy carving!